let's just recall the geometry of a of an equation for a line. A is the intercept, or what we now call the constant in, reg in regression lingo. And this is the point where the regression line crosses the y-axis. So it's the value of y when x equals zero. If a equals zero in this middle case, then the regression line is going to pass through the origin of the Cartesian graph. So this is the location where x equals zero and y equals zero. If a is greater than zero, then the regression line is going to pass through the y-axis above uh, at a point that's greater than zero. And if y, if a is less than zero, then the regression line is going to pass through the y-axis at a negative value. B, the regression coefficient, is interpreted as the slope of the regression line. When b is greater than zero, we have a positive slope. So the rise over the run of this line is going to be positive. If b is negative, we have a negative slope. So in this case, we have negative rise over run. And when b is equal to zero, the, the regression line is flat. There is no slope at all. Putting it all together, we have the equation of the regression line. Here we see that yi equals a plus bx. The a is this part controlling the height of the intercept. And the b is this part controlling the slope of the line. So a little bit of practice with equations of lines. Suppose we had a regression equation y hat equals 2 plus 3x. For these known values of x, and given this regression equation, we can now estimate what the value of y will be according to our model results. So in this case, we can simply plug the x's into the equation to come up with the y hats. So for x equals 1, we plug a 1 in over here, and we have 2 plus 3 is 5. For x equals 3, we have 2 plus 9. Then we have 2 plus 12. And 2 plus 24. We can plug these, locate, plot these locations and see that they do in fact form a line when we connect the dots. And this indicates a positive relationship between x and y. As x increases, y increases. And it does so at a rate of 3. So if x goes up by 1, we expect y to go up by 3. And that is being controlled by this b parameter over here, the regression coefficient. Remember, this a here is 2, and the b is 3. Let's do another example, this time with this equation. y hat equals 20 minus 2x. So if x equals 1, we have 20 minus 2, 18. Here we have 20 minus 6, 14. 20 minus 8, 12. And 20 minus 16, 4. We can plot this line as well. So when x is equal to 1, we had a y hat equal to 18. When x is equal to 8, we had a y hat equal to 4. Here we see a negative slope. For an increase in x, we see a decrease in y. And that is being controlled for by the, by the that's being controlled by the beta parameter, or the b parameter over here. b equals minus 2. So we have a negative slope. Finally, what about this model? y hat equals 4 minus 0x. Well, we can start by plugging in values of x, but we'll notice that no matter what value of x we plug in over here, because we're multiplying it by a b equals 0, 
we're always going to be um, this the value of x is going to have no effect at all on the value of y hat. So if we plug one in, we get four. If we plug three in, we get four. No matter what we plug in, we get four. And you'll see that that is going to produce a line with a zero slope. In other words, there's no relationship between y and x. No matter what we choose for x, it's not going to impact the value of y. We know that y is always going to be predicted at a, a, to be equal to 4.